Hello, my name is Martin. Welcome to the new Weaselwood maintenance project. As you have may or may not noticed, I have an obsession for tools. And as I like to work with my tools and complete my projects, it is also very important for me to keep my tools clean and well maintained. In today's episode we have a patient on the operating table that need a bit more of attention and a bit less of dust. My poor little Hilti TE6C impact drilling machine is gone through some hard times recently. Let's get started. I already removed the dust with the blowout gun and compressed air. The next step was to scratch the concrete stains off the body of the machine. Then I removed the drilling chuck and the extra handle to clean up the body first. I took some brake cleaner to rough clean the body and degrease the shaft of the chuck. Around the chuck the dust and the grease mix up to a sticky pulp. Very ugly. The only way to remove it is to scratch it off with a screwdriver. To finish the now cleaned body I put some silicone spray on to make it shiny and give it at least a bit of protection. Some Teflon oil for the piston and the first level is done. Now on to level 2. The chuck is the hardest thing to clean because the concrete dust and grease mix gunk accumulates in every corner of it, especially if you drill often in the ceiling. The only way to clean it is to dismantle the chuck, clean it and put it back together. Fortunately it's not that hard to dismantle the thing. Just remove the rubber sleeve and the snap ring underneath and the chuck fall apart. You can see the yike all over the place. The best way to make the chuck sexy again is to soak it in some white spirit or something and rub it with an old toothbrush. I highly recommend to do not brush your teeth with it after you've done this. Because of reasons, trust me.
The white spirit turned more into a black spirit, but the parts become nice and clean. Now put it back together. First the spring, then the washer and the ball for the drill lock and don't forget the grease. Everything works better with an appropriate amount of lubrication. Put the sleeve over and the snap ring back and as last step the rubber sleeve and the chuck is finished. A last little polishing of the body and the extra handle and it's cleaner as it was out of the box or at least cleaner as it was before I cleaned it. Now cross your fingers. Will it work? Will it work? Yay! It's alive! The last finishing touches but the machine look great again. I believe that every of my machines that do something for me deserves to be cleaned and maintained once in a while. Not just because it looks better, but also for the persistence of the device. Nothing comes from nothing. Stay tuned to see what we are going to do in the next videos. Thank you for watching, please support me with a subscription and maybe a thumbs up if you like this video. Have a nice day!